All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the C64 microcomputer, um, also known as the Commodore 64. Um, so basically, I've got the full size version and I've got the mini version, so we can compare the two together, see what's inside of each, and uh, also there's a couple of different games between the two units, but that doesn't really matter because you can uh, in install your own games via USB. Um, but we'll get into it. Um, We'll start with the mini, so we'll just leave him there, get the plastic wrapper off. So the Commodore 64 was uh, originally released in 1982, uh, it was actually before I was born. I never owned one of these back in the day. Um, but. This is the mini box. Um, so it says features, high definition output at 720p, uh, save game function, two USB ports, so you can plug in a USB keyboard and use that as this keyboard here doesn't function. It's just uh, cosmetic, um, so you can plug your own in and use it, uh, or you can plug in a second joystick which I believe you got to purchase but I haven't uh, haven't seen standalone um, joystick and then support software updates via USB flash drive um, also um, so there's 64 games in there uh, all right that just tells us what's included but we'll um, Open it up and we'll be able to see. Just grab the Stanley so we can get in. Just move him out of the way. Let us know if you own one of these or still own one. Still got it plugged in. What your favorite game was down in the comments, guys. Okay, so taking him out of the outer box and just have a size the front there or the top, a plain box. Okay, then we have our contents inside like that. couple of plastic protectors there and that there yep so none of this works so that there's our mini Commodore 64 unit um, you've got your power in HDMI and you've got your could be on off there not sure you got your two USBs and that's basically it and then from there So we have a power cord, which we need an adapter for, USB adapter. Um, and then that's one of the USB joysticks. So you've got C64 on top there, two big buttons, joystick, and all that. Then we have a HDMI cable, so that's cool. Don't have to source another one. Then we have the quick guide. That's pretty, well, it's more in depth than I was thinking, but it's just different languages. So a few pages for each language. And um, that's gonna to include the mini. Get rid of the box. There. So we'll leave him over here. Hopefully you guys can uh, still see that. All right. Now we've got the um, full size replica. Uh, I'll get the plastic off. 
you can see it better. All right. Okay. So we have the front there, nice and colorful. And we will open her up. Oh, we'll just see, so that's contents. Um, features, so same 720p. Um, choose various display options, including CRT filter. I'm not a fan of the filters. I just go straight to the HD. Um, save progress anytime. Be USB, add your own games, programs, update the firmware, and connect your own devices. Um, sure. So that's pretty cool. You can um, put your own um, games on there. It allows you to it to do it without doing any mods. All right. So show you the contents there. Again, another plastic protector. Not too sure. I don't think these would have came out with the same packaging back in 1982, but maybe they did. Um, okay, so that's off. So this is our keyboard. Nothing in there. So it's quite large. Obviously built for, you know, two human hands. Um, so yeah, okay, so on the back, or we've got the power in, the HDMI and a USB. Um, then we have another button there, must be for power. And we've got three USBs, so it's a bit more beefier than its um, smaller counterpart. But as you can see, these all work. Sounds like a typewriter. If anyone knows what one of those are. Um, so, it obviously sounds and feels nostalgic. Okay, so in this box we have the joystick. So, I can um, play two players, I guess, without using the uh, keyboard. But, that one clicks. Black, obviously. This one's red. This one does not click. Assuming you can hear that. So, probably slightly better for working out your. What have we got here? So, this one comes with. HDMI cable again, power cable, and we actually get a USB plug, so that's pretty cool. Better than the uh, mini, gonna have to source one, and again, the quick guide, assume it'll be uh, the same. Obviously there's extra ports, but yeah, pretty similar, so. Well, that's the same, get the additional plug, so you don't have to source one. But I guess if you already had the Mini, you would have bought one or probably got one lying around. Um, get rid of that. Okay, guys. Um, so I'll get some close-up shots as well, but just so you can um, see the size difference there. And, you know, over here. So, uh, it's quite a big difference, um, which is good because you want the, yeah, it's what you want when you buy the full size one. Now, I'm just going to run through a couple of the, um, the games that are missing from each system that are on the other. Um, so, we'll start with the mini. Um, just got them written down here, guys. So, we've got. Um, uh, we've got on the mini it has so the ones I'm reading out are the games that the mini has 
that the um, full size replica doesn't have and then vice versa. So we've got Creatures, Cybernoid, Hawkeye, Hunter's Moon, Hysteria, Nobby the Aardvark, uh, Rubicon, School Days, Snare, Speedball, and there's one more Uchi Matter. And now the games that are included on the, uh, the replica, full size, but not the mini, uh, Attack of the Mutant Camels, Bear, Bova, Destroyer, Gateway to Ash, Apshai, Grid Runner, which is Vic 20, Hover, Bova, Iridus, Alpha, Planet of Death, Psychedelia, which is Vic 20, Silicon Warrior, Street Sports Base, uh, Basketball, sorry, Sword of Fair Goal, and that's everything. So, this is going to conclude this part of the video for now, guys, but stay tuned for the close up shots and um, yeah, I'll be back shortly.
Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Once we get to 500 subscribers, we're giving away a copy of Final Fantasy VII Remake for the Sony PlayStation 4. So do subscribe so you're in the running for that one, and we'll catch you next time.